Greetings everyone, this is Articles of Reality, and we have a new video for you today. Now, today we will be talking about the land of the Duat, okay? Now, the land of the Duat, or Tuat, is the realm of the dead according to the ancient Egyptians. It is also known as the Tuat, Akert, Amenthes, Niter Kurtet, or Amenti. Now, I'm sure that name sounds very familiar. <laughs> Descriptions of the Duat is described in many funeral texts that were found in the tombs of mummies, most notably the Book of the Dead and the Coffin Text. There were even maps created to help the deceased navigate through its landscape. The sun god Ra also travels from east to west during the night. It is said that after death, people's souls await for judgment. The weighing of the heart takes place in, Duat, in the Duat. This is when Anubis weighs the deceased heart with the feather of Mat, the goddess of truth and justice. Hearts heavier than a feather were rejected and the deceased would have their soul devoured by the goddess Amit. Every night Ra battled Apophis, who was the embodiment of the primordial chaos, and each night Ra battled him so that the sun could rise each morning and bring order back to the earth. Now, I apologize, I may have butchered that name the first time, but if I did, make sure you let me know in the comments, and either which way, I'm going to make sure I didn't butcher that name, and if I did, I will correct it as such, okay? Now, what I'm going to be doing is very similar to the Emerald Tablets, okay? Now, the book of Am Duat, or Am Tuat, is a book that's a cosmological treatise in which describes the Duat. And in the Duat, the sun god Ra travels through the night hours. And in each chapter, it goes over, um, there, there are 12 chapters, okay? And in each 12 chapters, it goes through one of the 12 hours of the night. So it, it talks about what goes on during the night with us and what happens in the Duat, what Ra actually goes through, his whole um, journey, if you will. Okay, now I'm going to go through every single chapter and we're going to go through every single one and we're going to break it down so we can get a better understanding of this book. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you, make sure you sit back and relax and we'll dive right into it. All right, so now the first division of the Tuat or Duat is known as Net Ra. The Net Ra is the first division of the Duat. The sun god Ra passed through this division during the first hour of the night. There is a river which divides the middle section into two parts, and the upper part is the boat of the sun god. He wears a disc upon his head and stands within a shrine in a boat in which the gods travel from noon to sunset. This is known as a Sektet boat. Now, three deities stand in front of the shrine in a boat, and they are named ap uat sa and the lady of the boat, who wears on her head horns and a disc. Beyond this shrine of five gods, each having the head of man, the names of the first four are the Heru Hekenu, Kashu, which means the double of Shu, Nihis or Nehis, the lookout, and HV. The name of the fifth is a steerman named Kerp. There is an object which hangs on the high prow, and its material is the subject of debate. Some believe that it is carpet, and others believe that it is a reed mat. Near the curve of the prow is an utehat, which is a sacred symbol in the form of an eye. In the front of the boat, in the, in the front of the boat marches the two goddesses, Mat, which is spelled M-A-A-T, the one representing South Egypt and North Egypt. Here, let me rephrase that for you. Let me rephrase that for you guys. One, number one, the first one, are the two goddesses, Mat, the one representing South Egypt and North Egypt. Two, Nekent F, who holds a spear or knife in his left hand. Three, the bearded god, Kenti Amentet, in mummy form, and wearing the white crown and the Minat. Four, the lioness headed. Sekhet or Sekhmet. 5. The ram headed god Sehech or Ur. The four terms Ut Meru Ra, 
ut metu tem, ut metu kapera, and ut metu asar. Seven, the leader of this group is called Cha Unut, and by his side is a serpent that stands on his tail. Now, in the middle section of the lower part, there is another boat, and in the center of this boat is a beetle. On one side of the beetle is a god with his knees in the direction of the prow of the boat, but with his head turned behind him and with his hands in adoration of the beetle, and on the other side whose hands are also raised in adoration of the beetle. This is known as the coming into being of Osiris. This boat has no carpet or reed mat hanging from the prow, so it is assumed that it is intended to represent the boat in which the sun god traveled over the sky from sunrise to noon. This boat is known as the Atet or Matet boat. There are three serpents which glide in front of the boat, and they are called Sekre, Sepha, and Nepin. And in front of these march four man-headed gods and two hawk-headed gods, each with a serpent in his left hand, and a god called Nakti, and he holds a crook in his hand, Net or Nid, goddess of the south, Net or Nid, goddess of the north, and the goat goddess Artet. There are two hawk-headed gods called Chatui and Meti, and following, and following them are the four gods Abenti, Benbeti, Sekti, and Sekhet. Now, the explanation of this scene is, exp is explained in a hieroglyphic text written above, which reads, The God cometh to this court. He passeth through it in the form of a ram, and he makes his transformations therein. After he passed through his court, the dead who are in his following do not go with him, but they remain in his court, and he speaks. Words unto the gods who are therein. If copies of these things be made according to the ordinances of the hidden house, and after the manner of which is ordered in the hidden house, they shall act as magical protectors to the man who make of them. Now, in the upper register are the following. Nine apes who are described as the gods who open the gates to the great soul. Their names are Unta, Bata, Ma and Ra, Apta, Abba Ben, Akin Ab, Ben, Afa, and Chet Che. I may have pronounced that name, uh, that last name wrong. Okay. Now, twelve divine beings who are described as the goddesses who unfold the portals in the earth. Their names are one, Kat A, two, Nep Meket, three, Sek Hit, four, Ament Ut, five, Shev two. 6. Ren Dethin, 7. Hekent M. Sa, 8. Kat M. Ku, 9. Sekhet M. Kefui S, 10. Huit, 11. Hunt, 12. Nept Ankh. Alright. Every goddess stands with their arms hanging by their sides. There are nine seated gods with their heads raised in adoration of Ra. They are the gods who praise Ra. The first three are man-headed, the second three are jackal-headed, and the third three are crocodile-headed. The man-headed are called Hecha, Maa, and Hesa. The jackal-headed are called Nepta, Tesher, Apwat, and Apsekhenti. The crocodile-headed ones are called Tethat Tuat, Seki or Seki, and Sekhem Ra. All right. The goddesses who guide the great god are twelve divine beings in the form of women. Their names are Tentenit, Subai, Mat Nefuru, Neb Set. All right, that's one name, my friends. Mat Nefuru, Neb Set. That's one name. Let me see what we got. Kisfet, Smatet, Kuai, Maket, Ari, S. That's one name. Okay. This is one name also. Ut, Amt, Tuat, Her, Ab, Ua, Set, Mesperit, Ushim, Hat, Keftias, Shaset, Kur, Maket, Neb S and Teset Tesheru. Alright. 
Now that was the upper registry, okay? We are now going into the lower registry, okay? There are nine seated apes who are described as the gods who sing to Ra as he entered into Duat. The names are Amakar, Kenti Shef, Hen, Heken, M. Ben F. Now we couldn't find five and six, but seven is Heth T, eight is Pa Death, and we were also uh, unable to recover the name of the ninth. Now, also part of the lower registry are 12 serpents who spit fire from their mouths and are described as those who make light in the darkness of the Duat. Their names are Besit, Hetepit, 3 was put as intelligible, 4 Kutmu, 5 Hesek Kefti Set, 6 Nefert Ka, 7 Mert Nesur, 8 Behet, 9. Ab Shi, 10. Nesert, 11. Ab Ast, and 12. Shanit. There are also nine man headed gods with their hands raised in adoration, and they are described as the gods who praise Ra, the lord of the company of the gods. Their names are Ka Tuat, Hetem Ab, Ara, Au, Hemken, Ka Neteru, Tuati, Hekenu Ra, and Ah Atar. There are also those who give praises to Ra as he passes over Unis. They are twelve goddesses with their arms hanging by their sides. Their names are Ma Niter, Art Niter, Hekent Net, Apert Re, Ab Nephet, Ra Sini. Tevnut, Nutet, Ament, and Ast. The sun god addresses these gods in the first division of the Tuat with this. The majesty of this god standeth up after he taken up his position in his court, and he addressed words to the gods who were therein, saying, Open ye to me your doors, and let me come into your courts. Give ye light unto me, and make ye yourselves guides to me. O ye who came into being from my members, my word have gone forth to you. Ye are made of my bodies, I have made you. Having fashioned you of my soul, I have created you. I have made you by means of my enchantments, and I have come to avenge myself the blood of my members which have risen up against me. And I will bring to destruction which have made for it. I will make perfect with the form, width of my forms, O Cyrus Kenti Amenti. Open to me the doors with your hands. O ye apes, unfold to me the portals of the courts, O ye apes, and welcome the gods or goddesses who have come into being from my divine souls. Come ye into being, come ye into being, for Kapera, O ye have your being at the head of the Tuat. Stand ye up in earnest, and stand ye yourselves on the secret banks thereof, and work ye for the gods of Tuat in the court which ye guard. Possess ye your plans and your seats and your domains and in your fields. The gods of this court say unto Ra, O great God, the doors are open to thee, and the portals of the secret I meant are thrown open before thee. The doors of Nut the Great are thrown wide open. Illuminate thou the darkness of night, or, the, or thick darkness, provide for which is in the place of destruction, and approach thou in thy name of Ra, the place where is Osiris Kenti Amenti. There is a shout of joy to Ra at the entrance of the doors of the earth. Praise be to these, make thou perfect the light, and enter thou of the great country. The apes, Ambenti, the apes, also known as Ambenti, open the doors to thee. The apes, also known as Amhetetu, unfold to thee these portals. The serpents sing and exalt thee, and the divine serpent, and the divine serpents lighten thy darkness for thee, O Ra. The goddess of the hour cometh to thee. The two soul goddesses told thee along in thy form, and thou takest up thy position on the ground of the field of this land. Thou hast taken possession of the night, and thou wilt bring the day, and thou likewise will make long the hours, and thy boat cometh to rest. Thou seest the grain of God henbed in thy secret place, net. Thou openest net raw, thou uncoverest the god, to Cheba. The Uraeus goddess, Neteret of Uranus, 
acclaim thee, the Uraeus goddess, also known as Nehenuit, ascribe praise to thee. Thy word is mot against thine enemies. Thou givest tribulation to those who are condemned. The majesty of this God uttereth words after he hath come forth into this court. He doeth battle at the fortifications thereof of the doors of this court are strong, saying, Shut your doors by your bolts. Come to see me, advance to me, and make your way to me, and, and ye shall abide in your place. Take ye up your stand on the banks of the stream of Ernie's. This great God passeth them by, and they, meaning the gods, well, when he hath gone by them in the field of Ernie's. The goddess of the hour who guideth this great God through this court is Ushem Hat. Keftui Nu Ra. All right, my friends. So that concludes the first division of the Duat, which is also known as the Net Ra. Okay. Now, in our next video, we will be going over chapter two, which is the second division of the Duat, which is called Ernie's. Now, this can also be known as the second hour in Ra's 12 hour journey through the Duat. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you like, comment, and, or subscribe. Um, just make I want to hear you guys' feedback on this, on this new chapter we'll be starting. And I hope you guys enjoy. All right. Peace and love.